Hello and welcome to another video. Today I'm talking about a problem that's come up a few times for clients recently and it's a, a problem that occurs with recurrent tasks, i.e. tasks that have a recurrence like this one we're going to set to repeat every week, um, with subtasks. So in an ideal world you'd think with this due next Wednesday and with this due next Thursday that when we complete these tasks and then complete the parent task that the parent task will regenerate and put relative dates onto the subtask. That would be the dream. What actually happens, as we see here, is that we get a new task for the 5th of October, and those ones then repeat with the, the, the same date. So that's really strange. We were expecting that to um, perhaps come up with a day a week from now, but they're not relative. So then people start to think, well, I know what we'll do. We'll just set these to repeat. And this is, as they quickly discover, are hiding to nothing because what happens is when they now complete the um, those tasks they'll generate new dates which is great sort of and then when they complete this task that will create I'm just going to minimize some of this that will create a new task below with a load of new tasks in it so not just the recurrent ones but the original ones too and then they think oh well, crikey um well um we don't want these uh and they sort of try and scratch some of them out and then they end up you know perhaps with even more dates and um you know before too long they've got nine subtasks and a bit of a headache on their hands so what else can they do well there's a few options one of them i'm just going to show you now is um set up with with rules so what we've got is a rule i'll just show you a rule that says um when a custom field is set which in this case is called recurrent task and the task is marked as complete create a new task i'm just going to turn that on so we'll create a new task it's called whatever for whatever reason um and it's assigned to alan wang and it's created seven days after the the trigger date so that's great so we can save that then once that's created, we've got another task that says when a task is added to this project with a recurrent um, uh, date, uh, with a recurrent with a recurrent task field set to recurrent task, create create me a bunch of subtasks. And those subtasks are all mapped out with the dates, the assignees, and the name of the task. So that's also great. Let's turn that one on. So now they're on. So now what happens is um, if we minimise this. Um, ignore this we'll get rid of that in a second um, let's just remove that date and complete that so it goes and doesn't recur um, then when we finish these tasks here and then we complete this one what's going to happen is some rules are going to run and what it's going to do is create that task called whatever which is great that's what we want and because it's got the recurrent task set into the task template it's then going to um, fill out those um, with the relative date. So that's how you get around that little problem. There are other ways to do it. So you could have it set up so that this task exists in another project, and then you create those rules in another project so that they're not editable or seen here. And it would still do the same thing. Um, there's probably other ways around it too, but that's just a quick way that will perhaps solve your problem. I hope it helps. Oh, don't forget to like. Um, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done already, and I look forward to seeing you back very soon.